forgotten or need to change your wireless name or password, we'll show you how to do this on your Spark HG659 modem. If you haven't changed your Wi-Fi settings on the modem before, you can easily find out what your default wireless name and password is by looking at the sticker on the back of the modem. With this modem, we can see that the SSID is the default Wi-Fi name and the WLAN key is the default Wi-Fi password. If you can't connect to your Wi-Fi using this information but would like this to be your wireless name and password, then you can perform a factory reset on the modem to restore these default Wi-Fi settings. Now let's show you how you can check or change the Wi-Fi name and password on your modem. We recommend connecting the supplied yellow Ethernet cable to your device and modem before following these steps. Open your preferred web browser such as Internet Explorer, Edge, Firefox, Safari or Google Chrome. Click on the address bar and delete any text. Type in 192.168.1.254 and then press enter on your keyboard. This will allow you to access the modem interface. You will now see a login box. To log in to the modem, enter the username and password. The default username is admin and the default password is admin. If you've changed your modem's username or password, you'll be required to enter these credentials before you can access the modem interface. If you can't remember this login information, then you can do a factory reset on your modem to restore these default settings. If a pop-up box appears, click Save to continue. Now that we are in the modem interface, select Setup WLAN. There are two wireless frequencies, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz on this modem, which your devices can connect to. If you have a newer wireless device, you'll be able to connect to any of these two Wi-Fi networks. Older Wi-Fi devices will only be able to connect to the 2.4 Wi-Fi frequency. By looking at the WLAN 2.4 GHz SSID field, you can find out what your current 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi name is. If you wish to change this to something easier for you to remember, then click on this field, delete what's currently in the box, and type in your new wireless name. Similarly, by looking at the WLAN 5 GHz SSID field, you can find out what your current 5 GHz Wi-Fi name is. Repeat the same steps if you wish to change this to something easier for you to remember. To confirm what your current Wi-Fi password is, tick the Show Password box. You can change your Wi-Fi password to something easier for you to remember by clicking on the password. Delete what's currently in the box, then type in your new password. For security reasons, this needs to be at least 8 alphanumeric characters. If you've made any changes to the Wi-Fi name or password, then click on the Save button to apply these changes. Wait for a minute or two for the modem to reboot. And we're done. If you've changed your Wi-Fi name or password, you'll need to reconnect all your wireless devices to show your new Wi-Fi.